Hey guys, it's me again, Chris, and today I'm gonna speak Tagalog sa video na to. And the reason behind this is dahil the topic na share ko sa inyo has been covered by another YouTuber in English. The only reason why I speak in English is, is because target audience ko asay is worldwide. So if I speak in Tagalog, hindi nila ako maintindihan. So now is a great opportunity for me to speak in the native tongue. So Taglish to, I'm gonna try my best to keep it as Tagalog lang as possible. So let's get started. Bago tayo tumuloy, shout out lang to a couple of my subscribers. First is sa Team Mariliana. They are based in Sacramento, California. They upload vlogs. They have a very cute dog, so do check them out. And kay Truason or Truason, he uploads gaming videos. Uh, he has really good stuff, so check him out as well. Now this video, sorry, itong video na to, pag-uusapan natin yung programs sa ginagamit ko pang tanggal ng virus and malware sa computer. Okay? Bago tayo tumuloy, tanongin muna natin kung para kanino ba tong video na to? Kasi kung tutuosin, pwede ka namang mag-reinstall na lang ng OS, backup mo yung data mo. Pero bakit mo gagawin to? ba? This is more for the people na maraming files na importante sa computer and there's no way for them to back it up. Nandun na din yung baka wala silang pang-install ng OS, ba? Isa pa, kuikoy yung tao na maraming programs na ginagamit sa computer mo on a daily basis. Sobrang hassle mag-reinstall ng OS, pati ng programs na yun. And, you know, that's the last thing na gusto mong gawin if you spend a lot of time with your computer like me. Kung tutuosin, pwede naman ako mag-reinstall na lang. But it's gonna take a very long time for me to reinstall everything. And that's the last thing na gusto kong gawin at this stage. So, ito na yung pinaka-simpleng solution na may share ko sa inyo. Now, before we proceed with, with that solution, share ko muna sa inyo what I used to do. I've been using these programs for the past 10 years or so. Ang ginagamit ko talaga to remove viruses and malware sa computer ko is itong FRST64. Medyo mahirap gamitin to, so I don't recommend it to beginners. Kung may experience ka naman, um, okay lang. Go ahead and check out kung paano ginagamit itong FRST64. Basically, the only thing you need to do is do a scan. Sa scan na yun, magbibigay siya sa ng document in a text file. Babasahin mo yun, i-analyze mo kung ano yung wala dapat doon. And then, you're gonna create a copy of that text file with all your modifications. And i-upload mo siya dun sa FRST64 and then you're gonna apply it as a fix. Medyo may option gawin talaga. So, for for those who are advanced, you might want to check it out. Magandang program yun. After I do that, I use Super Anti-Spyware naman. So, sa Super Anti-Spyware, I perform a complete scan dun sa computer ko. Basically, lahat. Even my external hard drive, sinasalap pa ako pa minsan eh, para lang sure. So, magandang practice yun. So, you can have Super Anti-Spyware do a complete scan. Tatanggalin nyo naman automatic kung ano detect niya. And after that, I'm gonna run Malware Bytes and do the same thing. Complete scan scan for rootkits, archives, at kung ano na pang mga malwares or, or spyware or virus na nakalusot sa super anti-spyware. After using malware bytes naman, I finish it all off with CCleaner. Basically, yung CCleaner, what it's gonna do is lahat ng files na hindi kailangan sa computer mo, tatanggalin niya. Even temporary internet files kasi minsan, you know, spyware or, or viruses attach themselves dun sa mga temporary internet files na yun. So, it's gonna clean that up as well. Tapos, another thing that I do with CCleaner is I go ahead and clean in the registries as well. Kasi yung registry nyo, every time you install something or do anything with your computer that involves any modification, hardware man yan or software, will make changes sa registry ng computer nyo. Malware can get into the registry just to make sure na ilo-launch nyo yung sarili niya anytime. Kaya pansin ninyo, kahit nagkikil kayo ng process, bumabalik-balik pa rin sila, magandang gamitin yung CCleaner to get rid of all of that. O bakit ko pa sinabi sa inyo to kung meron naman tayong mas madaling solution? Well, these are programs that I believe is essential to every PC user out there. So, those are the four programs that I use. But recently, I figured out a new way on how to deal with viruses and spywares and malware sa computer. And yun ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Now, the old process takes me about two to eight hours or more. Depende kung gano'ng kabagal yung computer and gano'ng karami yung files dun sa computer na inaayos ko. Itong bagong proseso naman doesn't take a lot of time. Siguro mga two hours to five hours matagal na yun. And basically, it's gonna do everything for you. It's one program. All you need to do is type in a couple of commands and you're good. Hindi mo na kailangang mag-restart ng paulit-ulit, manually, gaya ng lumang procedure ko. In this case, this program will do everything for you. Now, the name of this amazing program is Tron. And ang good news dito eh, libre to. You don't have to pay for anything. You just download it and run it. And yun na, siya nang bahala sa mga virus, malware, spyware na nasa computer mo ngayon. So, here's the description. I leave a link to the description box below kung saan nyo siya download. And I'll show 
you how to launch it. Kuna siya irarun sa computer ko kasi kakaran ko lang. It doesn't make any sense to do it. Ngayon, kailan nyo dapat to gamitin? Well, of course, kapag sobrang bagal na ng computer mo and sobrang dami mo ng alerts na may virus yan. Next is, after a fresh install of Windows. Kasi gagawan ka rin naman yan ng restore point para if ever magka problema ka in the future, pwede mo lang siya ibalik doon. So, maganda yon Kapag na-install mo ng OS mo and all your other programs, run it. And it's gonna save you in the long run. Trust me, you're gonna thank me for that palang araw. Ito na yung website kung saan nyo download yung Tron sa Reddit to. Let's read the description. Ito yung description niya. So, Tron version 11.2 blah blah blah. <laughs> Okay, so, basahin na, na lang. It's a bit of a tongue twister, I'm sorry. So, ito yung background niya. It says, fights for the user. Sounds really nice, right? So, ito. Uh, description. It aims to automate 87% of the tedious work in getting a badly running Windows system back on its feet. Okay, so the only thing you need to do is click next, in AV scan windows, etc. Well, that's true. Yun lang talaga ang gagawin mo. Let me show you how to download it first. So either you do it via torrent or one of these links. You just click on it like so. And kapag na-click mo na siya, you just click on this one. And it's going to download it for you. It's gonna open this box asking you what you want to do with it. Okay, so just save it. I'll show you guys how to run it in a bit. Now again, sinabi naman niya sa description niya na 87% yung automated. The only thing that you need to do really is magta-type ka lang mamaya ng I agree, hit enter and during the whole process kasi hihinto yan kasi one of the programs na integrated dun sa Tron is Malwarebytes all you need to do is click on scan to have Malwarebytes to do a scan sa computer mo and the rest is going to be executed nung program na Tron mismo so that's it ngayon ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano nyo iraran yung Tron ngayon kapag na-download nyo na siya this is what it looks like double click nyo lang yung icon na yan it's gonna open a command prompt tapos i-unpack nyo na lahat ng laman nung package na yun so I suggest you do do this sa desktop ng PC nyo para di kayo mahirapan maghanap. Now, makakaroon ng dalawang folder sa desktop nyo. Isang integrity verification tapos isang Tron. The only thing that you need to worry about is yung Tron folder. Sa loob ng Tron folder, ilalabas nyo lang sa desktop itong dalawang files sa to. This one is the resource folder and yung isa is the tron.bat. Tapos nun, right click nyo lang yung tron.bat. Run as administrator. Lalabas na ngayon itong command prompt na to. Again, all you need to do is type I agree and hit enter. And it's basically gonna run the whole thing. Sabi ko nga kanina, magpa-pop up yung malware bytes, so just click on scan and that's it. That's the only thing that you need to do. Bantay-bantay nyo lang. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to 2 hours. Baka mas mabilis pa eh. Nagkataon lang kasi na sobrang dami kong hard drive sa PC ko and it had to read all of those para lang matapos. And one more good thing about Tron is automatic yan. Hindi niya i-defragment yung mga SSDs nyo because that's very bad for SSDs. Okay? So, never do that. Ito ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo. Screen shots kung anong ginagawa ng Tron or anong gagawin ng Tron sa computer nyo. I wish I was able to record it nung ginawa ko para maipakita ko siya sa inyo. Unfortunately, nawala sa isip ko. And next time, if I decide to do it again, I'll record it para pakita sa inyo. Pero very straightforward naman to. Kahit di ko na ipakita, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. So disclaimer lang ha, kung hindi ka komportable ng gawin to, have someone else do it for you or ipaayos mo na lang sa professionals pero alam nating medyo magastos yon. That's why I highly recommend this product kasi libre and trusted ko siya based on personal experience. Hindi naman sa mga marunong, you know, try it out. I am in no way connected dito sa mga developers ng program na to. At the same time, I will not be liable for anything that happens to your computer. You sit on your own discretion. I'm just sharing with you my best practices if komportable kang gayahin yon or sundin yon by all means go ahead nandiyan naman lahat ng details uh, I'm gonna put all the links para mabasa nyo siya mag-aralan nyo rin okay either way kung pinupugaran naman ng virus yung computer mo walang mawawala anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit like and subscribe please it's gonna help the channel out a lot so consider subscribing and panoorin yung mga videos ko I'd love to make more videos like this for you guys so I'll see you guys later keep safe love one another peace